What's up everyone, welcome back to Guns and Outdoors with Daryl. And today, we're gonna be cleaning the Mossberg 590. And the reason why, is because last week, we were shooting watermelons. I have watermelon juice, watermelon particles, or parts, all over this gun. So, it needs to be cleaned. So first, I'm right back, show you guys that it's empty. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna undo this. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to basically take the barrel completely off. Once you do that, we're gonna push this pin right here out. So you can push that pin with pretty much anything that fit in there. It's gonna come out the other side. Make sure to not lose that pin. Next thing, you're gonna turn your gun over and you're gonna pull up and out. And your whole trigger assembly will come out. I don't necessarily really have to go in there and take all this apart, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So, you're gonna have these things on the side. I forgot what these call. It's a really big name. But you have two of them. So that was one. Then the other one is literally right here. And then from there, you do have this. This is all coming out at once. And then from there, this will come out as well. Basically with the rest of it, this will literally come through the front, which is your whole firing pin assembly. So the next thing you wanna do is hit both of these sides. And then just push out of there. So now that we have it completely emptied, I'm just gonna go ahead, spray it, do my little montage of cleaning all these parts, and then we're gonna reassemble. So now that all the parts are firmly oiled, the next step would be to put everything back inside of the gun, and then we're gonna give it one last wipe down, then we're gonna put it up, and that's gonna be the end of this video. First step is to ensure that your safety is locked to the rear. If it's not locked to the rear, this is not gonna be going inside of there. It's gonna be way too hard, too difficult. You want to ensure that it is faced this way while putting it in. So two, you wanna smash it down a little bit and then it should pop right inside of your hole. From there, it should hang freely like that. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna put your firing pin back into your gun. So I can help you guys. This is gonna be very hard, but basically you want to slide it in like this, flipping it over so it does not fall out. You're going to see a, let's see if I can bring this up for you guys. You see this ejector rod, slide it over there. Over between, doesn't matter. And you want to lock it all, not all the way back, just to here. So just until this, till it gets squared off, about there. The next thing you're going to want to do is put your forearm on. This is your forearm. So you wanna slide it over and it's gonna fit through these two holes. Just like such. It could become a little bit difficult, but that's okay. Just slide it in. Once you slide it in, 
it will get stuck. That's okay. Just pull up on them and then push them in the rest of the way. As you're pushing them in, you want to stop about here. So as you see these things are moving, stop about here. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in. This is going to be faced like that. This falls into here. And then these little cutouts goes into here. It all goes as one assembly and it's supposed to fall in there. And what you wanna do is manipulate your uh, forearm. So like you guys see me do, I set, I, I allowed this to fall in there and then I pulled this forward. And then your next steps are going to be these pieces here. So this will be the right side. This will be the right side, this will be the left side. But if I flip it over, you guys can instantly see that the left side now becomes the right side and the right side now becomes the left side. What you wanna do is you want to put this in facing this way. You'll see some slits on the side and you should be able to fill them. And it goes in just like that, just like that. And it goes in behind this area. Let's see if I can brighten it up a little bit more. So it goes in behind this area. So this is why I put it in there. See how this area, if I take this out, it'll fall right out, All right? So it goes right in between this area right here. It literally just lock, or not lock. Yeah, technically it will lock into place, just like that, see? Same thing with this side. See that little big notch? That's another indicator because it's only one notch on this side. So you can't mess it up in the same concept. Put it in. The same exact way. Sometimes these things fall out, so just make sure to put them back in because they're very important. I'm trying to. Got it. Cool. Now that that's in, the next thing to do is the trigger assembly. Push that in. And then push that down. Just like so. You flip over here. You should be able to attach your pin. Just like so. Foregrip or the pump. As far forward as you possibly can. Then once you do that, you want to slip on the barrel and ensure that it is also fitting on this part. And the way you know you have it correctly on there because you'll see no gaps you'll see no gaps and this will fit flushly in there so see no gaps fits flush now the next step which is the easiest step is to basically oil it down and just like that we're finished with that being said it i will link down below the person video that I watched in order to break this down and piece it back together because this is the first time I ever took down the shotgun. So of course I had to figure out and make sure I knew what I was doing. And on some parts I did get a little bit of stuck. And so I'm happy that I found his video to get me unstuck to continue this video to explain to you guys how it works.